Welcome back to the Lion Song. Oh, I forgot to start my timer. Come on, start. Why aren't you starting? Why aren't you starting? No. Ah, great. Nope. Okay, you might hear a ticking sound. <clears throat> Was everything to your liking? Yes. Delicious. Anything else for you, mine hair? Why wasn't that translated? Alright, I think it's... <laughs> it's hard to translate it, but still. Mine hair? Um, 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 what would be the best way to translate it? Uh. I can't find the right words. Mister would sound too too weak. Well, anything else for you? I'm fine, thank you. Would you look at my equations? I would value your opinion. If you like. But I assure you, this is outside my expertise. Thank you, Nenner. You are a good friend. Can I talk to them? Mathematicians. What an extraordinary face. I wonder what they're disc discussing. Uh, slender ma mathematician. No, he's too difficult. What a subject that man would make. I must paint him. Gentlemen, please pardon the intrusion. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fran uh, Franz Market. The artist? Sir, this is an honour. What can we do for you? It is your friend here. Herr Schell. Emil Schell. You must forgive me. But I have been studying you from across the room. Oh? Uh, your face is remarkable. The layers of you are... Uh, well, let's be honest. The layers of you are... Contradictory somehow. Layers? Contra contradictory? Not at war with one another, but a duality. Changing. At first I thought one thing, but later I saw another in conflict with the, with the first. Changing, you say? I want... I must paint you. Hmm... I would be on it. Excellent. Hmm... I need to take care of something first. I want to paint you. Hmm... Hmm... Well, do we have to do something else? I don't think we have anything else planned right now. And I can't really bring the painting to the bank, I think, at least. Mm -hmm, but am I ready yet? Oh well, let's try. I want to paint you. Your presence. You present a challenge I have never faced before, but I promise you, I will capture you. My workshop is at Holland's, uh, Hollandstrasse 10. Please come at your earliest convenience, gentlemen. Pray continue your luncheon. What? Um, maître. Can I help you? I would like to order a Großer Brauner, please. <laughs> what is a Großer Brauner? 
Does that mean beer? Certainly. Please take a seat at your table. The waiter will be right with you. Doesn't make much sense to let him sound French, but oh well. Oh well, uh, my table. Hmm. Excuse me, waiter. What can I do for you? I would like some coffee, please. Certainly. What kind? Ah, so it's coffee. Verlängerte Milchkaffee, Melange, große Brauner. Um, is große Brauner maybe black coffee? Milchkaffee is. Um, Cafe or there, so coffee with milk. Verlängerte is, I think, with alcohol. Melange, I don't know. And Große Brauner, I don't know either. Huh. Mm. <laughs> Let's just take a milk cafe. Milk cafe. <clears throat> Delicious. So, I'll get going. And I think. Hmm. Can I go there? No. I'm still not sure how to pronounce that. I know that's not saloon, but um, salon is the German and the French version to pronounce it, but I don't think that's the right English pronunciation. I should worry about finding the real world. Maybe granddad knows what she means by that, but we, we already talked to your granddad. Banker, Herr Reinhard Moritz, the banker. Alice, I wasn't able to capture his sense of humor. I am sorry. I tried my best, okay? Hmm, okay. Let's go there. Maybe our ma mathematician is already there. Mm -hmm. Knock, knock, knock. My first painting. All I can see are mistakes. Good day. Please have a seat, Herr Schell. I've never been in an artist's studio before. In fact, I don't know any artists or musicians or writers. Why is that? In Vienna, you can stumble over us wherever you turn. My life is math, science. There's no room for art. Math is real. Art, I don't know. If you'll forgive me, I disagree. I hope when you see your portrait, you'll see I've captured who you really are. I'm not sure I'm ready for that. So he's... Hmm. That suit you're wearing is a bit too large for you. I thought all mathematicians have beards. Andres, please. No, I don't think Andres will help with this guy. One second. Okay, my dog is going crazy in my <laughs> behind me, <laughs> but oh well. Um, let's see. I thought all mathematicians have beards. 
Why are you clean shaven? So he's ashamed of something, I think, but he's outgoing as well. I tried to grow a beard once. The result was ludicrous. Also, I disliked finding day old food in it. That's very true. <laughs> uh, would you lie down, please? Please sit, remain standing. Would you lie down, please? What? I'd rather not, but I will sit if that is all right. Of course. How can there be two layers simultaneously? Your duality of nature is incredible. Your dual duality of nature is incredible. This was a mistake. No! I see you're upset, but you see far too much, sir. Good day. Heschel, I need to paint you. Please. Wait. No, come back. Dear God, come back. What now? What choice do I have? Mm. I could stay, still paint Madame Therenhardt. I could try and paint him from memory. Oh, my voice today really sucks. I'm sorry. <coughs> it's not working. Um, maybe paint Madame Therenhardt then? Since painting from memory would go wrong. So we go here, go to the market. Hurry up. Hmm. Good. Alright, I <laughs> lost money and just entering the market. Good. Walk? Please. I'm not in the mood for political banter, especially when it involves meat prices. Oh, now you're walking, that's great. Shopping route now? No, no. Shinoka! I want to paint you. Please meet me at my workshop at Hollandstrasse 10. How exciting! I will be there soon. I didn't think that was her voice, but I totally forgot her voice. I'm sorry. Uh, exit market. And back to my workshop. That was a useless trip, basically. Oh. Knock knock. I'll be right there. Herr Moritz mentioned he wanted to purchase some of my sketches. Maybe there's something in there. Inspect. These are from the session with the young composer. I could see some of her lays when talking to her, even before painting her, but the greatness she would aspire to was still hidden. It might fetch a good price, but it might be too personal, too revealing. <clears throat> Let's go back, since I'm sorry for letting you. The stage, she said, all props are in their expected places. Madame Thernhardt, a veiled, wailed woman, enters stage left. Please have a seat, Madame Thernhardt. A lovely tune, my daughter, is quietly played in the black background. By Dursel. Madame Thernhardt sits and demurely arranges her skirt. Could you please stop talking? She speaks. You look so tired, Schnucker. I noticed it in the market too. 
Are you well? I... I haven't been sleeping. Would you like to postpone? I'm at peace when I paint. Very well. Is this how you would have me pose? Those clothes you've chosen should do nicely. Will you remove the veil, please? Would you mind undressing? Perfect. Hmm. I'm not sure. Hmm. <laughs> do you want to see an old na lady naked? Hmm. <laughs> I do so in my job every day. Uh, would you mind undressing? <laughs> I do mind, Marcus. I will carry reality only so far. No dance of the seven veils for you, but for you only I'll remove one. There now, no artifice, no subterfuge. I am as you see me. This is the woman, yes, this is the woman I must paint. Just imagine her a few pounds lighter. What you? Your voice. You remind me of a surgeon. So calm. It won't hurt, will it? You promise me? I promise. <clears throat> May I ask you questions while I paint? Now, you sound like Freud. Do you know Freud? Someone else compared me to him at the saloon. Uh, <laughs> um, salon. We've never met. I know of him, of course. Well, I know of him, of course. For sure. He already talked about him with someone else. And I know him, of course, as well. <laughs> but I think... Let's go with this. Someone else compared me to him at the sa <sighs> salon. He has helped me many times. It seems to collect no roses, like souvenirs, from the characters I play. Hours later. Act two. The young painter looks haggard. His model looks as fresh as a talpid bud. Your voice is very melodic. No younger actress can hold a candle to you. You have beautiful hair. Mm, your voice is very melodic. <laughs> Let's see, maybe this? No younger actress can hold a candle to you. No. You think so, Schnucker? Why did you become an actress? What is your favorite role? Is there a role that you hated playing? Do you like your colleagues? Is there a role you hated playing? <laughs> Quite a few, to be honest. At the start of my career, there were some poor choices on my part. Regarding roles? That too. What is your principal vice? Schnocker, really? What kind of question is that to ask a lady? Oh, never mind. I'm an actress, not a lady. Is it sex? Is it alcohol? Is it gambling? Huh. <laughs> hmm. I think during that time it would be alcohol or gambling. But let's go with. Is it said sex? The sex is delightful. But it's not a vice. It's a necessity. Like breathing or eating or good reviews. Is it alcohol or gambling? 
Is alcohol? Drink can be convivial, convivial, convivial companion of the moment, but it will never be a friend. Is it gambling? I'm only, I've only gambled one love on love. Once I thought I'd have won, but it wasn't to be. What is it then? <laughs> Why, gluttony, of course. I'm surprised you can paint me, and still need to ask. A few more hours later. Act 3. The actress feels the layers of her psyche being peeled back like an arty shock. One of my vegetables, uh, one of the many vegetables she hates. A propos. When we met at the market, you mentioned being on diet. You said you grew a new granddad. You were interested in herbalist tincture. Um, I guess this is the old lady's lair. You were interested in the herbalist tinctures. Why? I cannot stop the ravages of time, but I will surely go down trying. Well, at least I got two layers, right? I'm almost finished. And? Hmm. You are a wonderful model. Why do you hesitate? <sighs> I'm missing. I've seen more layers with you than any of my earlier models, but I know I'm missing something. Is this why you can't sleep? It's worse than that. I have blackouts and have this feeling that I'm empty. I have no layers at all. I am one of three sisters. I don't understand. No, my sisters are strong, admired, great women. It was easy to tell when we were children. They were destined for great things. I was not. But you are a great actress. To many in Vienna society there is no such thing. Many think us little better than whores. There is no in-between. That is new. My god, it's new. It is not new. It has been that way for ages. No, I see more. No, come back. No. It's gone. I've lost it. It's gone. Curtain. Okay, before I continue reading, this part is going on for long enough. I just wanted to finish the painting. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye!